Good afternoon. My name is Elliot White, Director of Business Development at Tango Card, and my colleague here is Chuck Lim, our Chief Technology Officer. So Tango Card is an enterprise technology and solutions company enabling our customers to seamlessly integrate digital rewards, incentives, and disbursement methods uh, into their applications, platforms, and programs. We're here today to talk about the newest version of our Rewards as a Service API, uh, which is really the, the core of hundreds of our customers' uh, applications and, and platforms for whom uh, rewards are a, a critical driver of business results. Uh, I'm going to walk through a couple of live demos of programs built on top of our APIs, and then Check is going to walk through our API test console to highlight a couple of features and functionalities. Before I jump into the first demo, I just wanted to quickly define what we mean by digital rewards. So for us, a digital reward is a stored value product that can be delivered to the end recipient instantaneously, uh, either via email or within an actual application itself. So we've built a global catalog of digital retail gift cards, open loop cards like uh, Visa and MasterCard, and other products like Bitcoin, PayPal, et cetera, uh, that are available on demand through our catalog APIs, which Check will walk through a little bit later. So to jump into our first demo, I'm going to walk through the H&R Block Refund Bonus Program. So this was a program uh, that where H&R Block wanted to enable their customers to have more flexibility when it comes to getting their tax refund. So any H&R Block customer using their tax software uh, could take any portion of their tax return in the form of a digital gift card. So to jump into the user interface, uh, you can see here I have you know, $54 available for redemption, and there are a variety of digital gift cards available uh, for, uh, for me to choose from. And as I move through the, uh, the experience, I can drill into a particular card. I think everybody knows what Amazon is, but there's a brief little description of, uh, of the product. Uh, there's a merchant disclaimer, and then the denominations that are available for that product. And then as I click through the redemption experience, I can choose to add additional cards to my cart. It's like it's a shopping cart experience. Uh, and then upon uh, redemption, the gift card is delivered to me within a couple of minutes on an H&R Block branded email template. So there are just, I want to back up a little bit, and there are a couple things that I want to highlight uh, in this particular demo. The first being the catalog functionality. Uh, so. This user interface, it's, it's hosted by H&R Block, um, but all of the actual reward content is pulled from our Rewards as a Service API. So this includes high resolution card images, multiple uh, different sizes of card images, product descriptions, merchant disclaimers, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all of that is pulled through our API. And then the next piece I wanted to highlight is the reward delivery. In this case, the reward is being delivered by Tango Card on an H&R Block branded email template, but we also also have the ability to return codes uh, back via the API for delivery uh, within an actual application. So uh, the H&R Block example is an, exa is an example of what we call a one-to-one -one account structure. So this is where H&R Block is our customer, and they want to send rewards to their end users themselves. Uh, you know, it works awesome. They have a, a platform layer, and then they have their own you know, account uh, beneath that, um, where they you know, manage their catalog and their email templates and, and everything along those lines. Uh, and that, that works awesome, but our API also has the ability to create uh, multiple account customers and accounts beneath the platform, uh, which is awesome for our platform customers uh, that for whom uh, rewards are a critical component of their platform, which they then make available to their end customers. Uh, so I'm going to uh, demo GIF's Enterprise Health Benefits platform, uh, which is an example of just such a platform integration. So within the, the GIF uh, user experience, uh, each of GIF's end customers has the ability to customize uh, their rewards catalog along with their reward email template. Um, and then they can also receive custom report, you know, specific reporting specific to their account. Uh, so the, you know, the flow, this is also a really great example of a mobile use case built on top of uh, of our APIs, where the user can see how many points they've achieved for engaging in healthy behavior, uh, and for which their employer is incentivizing them to engage in. Uh, and then they can see the rewards catalog, which rewards are available to them. Again, if they redeem for an Amazon card, they click through, and again, the reward is being delivered um, 
via our, uh, via our email templates. So at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Czech, who's going to walk through uh, our API test console. All right. Thanks, Elliot. It's my pleasure to be here with you today. And now that you've seen the customer experiences, I'd like to walk you through our, our Rewards as a Service API and show you how the methods help the, our customers build the UI. So we launched the first version of our API roughly four years ago. And since then, we've iterated through uh, multiple revisions. And recently, we launched the second major revision of the API. And it's not surprising that we call it V2. The API is now used by hundreds of customers. And they include Google, Microsoft, and h and Block. Behind this API is a purpose-built platform that aggregates all of our partners' content into a one-stop shop for digital rewards. So right now, what you see on the screen is a task console that we built to allow our customers to interact with the API. And we use an API framework called Swagger. Uh, it was mentioned in the IBM talk yesterday. And what it does is it takes away a lot of the heavy lifting of maintenance and uh, building of the task console and SDKs. The first thing you'll notice near the top of the task console is uh, a basic auth uh, access control. So we use a platform name and key to control access, uh, control access to our API resources. And this is similar to a username and password login. And it's a very common approach for uh, API services. New customers would need to get a platform key before they can interact with our API. After authentication, the next step is setting up customers and accounts. So these methods are used to set up either a single account uh, or a tree structure of accounts based on your business model. And this is, these are the pictures that Elliot showed early on where you have a single one-to-one -one relationship or you have a one-to-many relationship. Uh, and it it's, can be set up based on your business model. Um, in the case of GIF, the demo that you just saw, they are a platform company. And so what they do is they create an account for each of their customers. And in that case, we manage the funding of each account separately. But GIF only had to integrate with Tango Card once. So for platform companies that want to build uh, an integration into our API, they only have to integrate once. And then they can manage all of their customers using our platform account structure. So after customer and account setup, we will now turn our attention to getting the reward content. Um, the catalog call is designed to return brand and item information. And that includes terms and conditions, brand images, brand description, short and long description, and so on and so forth. Similar to what you saw in the h and Block demo, you typically include this information in your redemption experience. And this is, this is why you show your end users you know, what they are going to get. Uh, and if there's any specific instructions uh, to the brands, this is why you, you can get it. One thing that's interesting here that um, I'll note is the retailers are very, very particular about how their brands are represented. And so we take great care in ensuring that the information that we deliver is precise. Next up is placing an order. So the order method is the big red button of the API. In this call, you'll indicate the item you'd like to purchase, the dollar amount, and other relevant information. You can choose to have Tango Card send the reward email or return the raw reward codes to you. Uh, getting the reward codes uh, back to you is useful if you're trying to control the entire user experience. So for example, if you're trying to embed the uh, redemption experience inside your application, 
uh, you would want the raw road codes back. Many of our customers choose to have Tango Card send the roads email. And in those cases, you can customize the email template by including your brand logo, color, and style. We've recently added a um, feature uh, that's item potency, which means that if you send in a, uh, and the attribute name is, is external ID, um, and if you send in a value, a unique ID, uh, and we see that value again on a subsequent call, we will not process the second transaction as a new order. So uh, we will just return what was previously processed back to you so that you're not making multiple uh, orders. And this is important um, because we observed that in certain edge cases, our customers were making duplicate orders. And it could be due to timeouts, it could be due to network interruption, uh, or any unforeseen uh, interruptions between the client and server. The rest of the API methods are used for support purposes, and they include account funding, customer service, and reporting. So for example, you can use the order history method to retrieve all transactions in your account. And you can then display this information in your support dashboard if you have one. There's also a resend method that will resend a reward to the original recipient in case it was misplaced or lost in delivery. So at this point, I'm going to turn it back to Elliot. Thanks, Chuck. Let me just get the show going here again. Okay, so just to summarize the capabilities of the Rewards as a Service API one more time, um, the, the RAS API enables our customers to create and manage multiple accounts uh, beneath their platform. Uh, they can access a global catalog of digital rewards, incentives, and disbursement methods. Uh, and there are a variety of different ways to uh, order gift codes, either to have them delivered via email or within an application itself. Uh, plus, uh, we have a variety of, of support APIs available as well. Uh, so before I close, I just wanted to quickly say that, uh, as, as Chuck mentioned, we have hundreds of enterprise customers that are leveraging the Rewards as a Service API uh, for things ranging from customer acquisition, uh, loyalty programs, uh, employee engagement programs in the form of employee recognition to a corporate wellness, uh, to uh, payment disbursement programs like the H&R Block uh, program, uh, um, among others. Uh, now, that said, there are, you know, all kinds of additional uh, use cases out there for the Rewards as a Service API. We'd love to talk to you if you are thinking about a potential uh, integration or product uh, for which you know rewards or, a crit or incentives are a critical component. Uh, so you know, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll be out at our table for the rest of the afternoon. We'd love to talk. We can walk you through uh, any of the API methods in more detail uh, or talk about uh, potential use cases. Thank you. Thank you.